We're only two weapons away from unlocking Borealis, and I saved the best for last. And the two best weapons are, of course, the Lockwood 680 in the tiers. It's kind of like the new best weapon and the old best weapon coming together. The LeBron James and the Michael Jordan of MW3 weapons. Except the MJ of MW3 weapons needed a second one. So this is kind of the MJ and Scotty. It needs both of them to compare to the LeBron James of weapons. I don't even watch basketball, but I know that probably pissed somebody off. But for the best, I brought the best. So I'll be throwing on this level three pack-a-punch to our Lockwood 680, as well as a legendary Aether tool. And then we'll get this to pack-a-punch two in an epic Aether tool, because I didn't have any legendary left. And then we got a few perks here as well. And since these are our last two weapons, I only want to use the best against the best so i want to get all 10 of my elite kills for both weapons in only the tier 3 zone and the dark aether and hopefully i can unlock borealis while in the dark aether because i did bring in a sigil here but i do want to try to do a contract or two over here in the tier 3 zone to see if we can get an elder sigil you know up the ante a little bit apparently the only thing i need to up is my iq because you can't even get elder sigils from tier 3 contracts only from the dark aether i just wanted to point this out because i mentioned it a few times in this video but don't worry i'll eventually realize it it just might take a bit let's grab pack three on these and now i think we're all good to go but now i think we got everything we need i got all the possible upgrades we can get you know besides a legendary aether tool for our tiers but that's still like one of the schematics i don't have and i'm not about to fight that worm boss again at least not yet. Well, let's try out a bounty. I think we can take down just about anything. Oh, and it's a mangler. I was kind of hoping it'd be a mangler. Because I am pretty confident that these weapons can take down a mega abomination. It just takes longer. A mangler? I feel like we can take out in a few shots. What do you got to say about that, mangler? Oh, he's got a lot to say about it. We're actually not doing a whole lot of damage. His armor's just tanking it. There we go. Busted it open. I need you to die for me. Maybe the tears can do something to you. There we go. Night, night. And just a pack of punch one crystal. So useful in the tier three zone, I might add. It's like a coupon code for getting pack two a little cheaper. Like 5,000 off. And tier three loot is so garbage. But you know what? Maybe we try to break this little ethereal orb or harvester orb, whatever the fuck they're called. We'll see if this can drop us a legendary tool. Come on, break. Go ahead. Why is it flying so far away? I can't hit that. Throwing knife, go. Oh, barely saved it from teleporting. Okay, we broke it, and it's a rare Aether tool. Why do I even bother? Legendary Aether tools are like mythical creatures. They don't exist unless somebody's doing a tombstone glitch in your lobby and dropping them for you. Let's do an Outlast contract after we do a cargo delivery. It's just so easy to do the cargo deliveries. We got to knock one out. Oh, barely made it. And I said it was easy. Please give me an Elder Sigil. Nope. A three plate vest. Another thing that you should already have before coming into tier three. Let's start up this Outlast contract. Whoa, zombies. Why don't you back the fuck up? Let me just start up this event, please. And now we might actually be able to take out a few elites. Because I'm almost positive bounty elites do not count for Serpent tonight. Which is dumb. I feel like they should, they should count as two. They're definitely way stronger than any normal elites that spawn. And I heard a Mangler a second ago, but... Might be too scared to face me. Oh, there's a disciple. Sit down. You really only send him one elite at me, though? This is a tier three outlast. Thought we get a few more. Oh, wait. Mangor, are you up here? You are. And the contract might end and kill you. Yep. Cool. So one elite through that whole thing. And some more uh, insane rewards. Okay, maybe I'll do one more contract over here. I'm still holding out hope for that Elder Sigil. Or literally anything good. Because I still have like one schematic from the tier 3 zone that I don't have. That would be really nice to find. I'm still missing the Elemental Pop schematic. Or like just drop me a Legendary Aether tool. One of those two items. Or I guess three. If we're including the Elder Sigil. All right. One more P&D. And we're at like a quarter of the way there. And I haven't even seen a zombie. Oh, got to start talking. Then they start showing up. They just nerf like tier three in general. It's empty over here. I hear a mangler, but I don't see a mangler. Where are you? We honestly would probably have better luck finding manglers just roaming around the tier three zone. Or just any elites for that matter. I'm just so focused on manglers because the only thing I've used to grind all my other weapons serpent tonight have been X-fills. And X-fills just kind of get boring after a while. Yeah, literally no elites. The only elite was right there, finally showing up at the end. 
And no rewards either. I guess we gotta go hunting. Any elite spawning over here? I'm not seeing shit. Oh, there's a mangler. What's up, dude? Nice little like four shot kill, something like that. I'll take that all day. You know what? Let's grab this cargo while we're right next to it too. Get another chance at the reward pool over here. Oh, there's a mimic. Later, Mimic. I don't even know what our kill count's at for each of these guns. I think we might have like one or two elites for both of them. That is very sad for spending the entire game in the tier three zone. Got good uh, rewards from that though? Of course we didn't. I guess brain rot's all right. I'm just gonna grind these tier three contracts until the time is up. And if we don't got any good loot to show for it, then they really need to buff tier three. Let's try a weapon stash. Maybe it'll be different. It's basically gonna be the same thing as an outlast. Holy shit. There's so much more zombies in this than there would be for an outlast. Holy fuck. These zombies are not playing around. I feel like I'm a broken record, but no elites. We would have already had this done doing exfils. I thought this would just be a little more challenging way to do it, but the challenging part is getting them to spawn. Oh, I hear a mangler though. I'm not going to let him get killed by this contract ending. You're going to die by my hands and my hands only. There you go. That's another contract completed. I don't think I've ever completed this many contracts in the tier three zone. And I've never seen worse loot. What about in the weapon stash? Anything good in here? Yeah. Two blue guns. Eh, maybe I'll do one more. Last contract. We can't use the best guns in the game and not try to take out a mega bomb. And a little disciple on the way can't hurt. Later, bitch. And I don't think I've used the Lockwood against a mega bomb yet, so this would be cool to see. Ooh, already getting stunned by him. Already having zombies not leave me the fuck alone. Let me hit you in that little mouth. This guy gives no fucks. Oh no! We broke one of his mouths, but he took me out. I still got more self revives though, we're fine. And the tears actually might still be better than the Lockwood 680, I'm not gonna lie. These have been doing way more damage. The tears still on top. I hope these never fully get nerfed, because they're so fun to use. They're so nasty. Oh, and he's already gone. Give us something good for that though? Oh, got myself all wound up. It's just a normal sigil. But we do have almost 60,000 from running these contracts. So let me buy a few things before we head on into the Dark Aether. We have two, four, six, eight cashmeres. A good amount of self revives. We have a jug suit. Not like we're going to need it. I think we're good. Let's go to the Dark Aether. See if they got anything good for me over there. All right, let's toss this in here. And let me in. All right, Dark Aether. Bring on the elites. Except for that mega abomination. Actually, you know what? If we take that in an HVT one, we can take this guy on. That'll be a fun starting kill. We got a half hour to spend over here. We can make it work. Ooh, busted his head wide open on the first shot with a Lockwood 680. Oh, Mimic, you want some dick too? Good thing this weapon's called Mo Wood. And that's another one for you. Oh, more Mimics. Perfect, keep them coming. We'll get this camo done in no time. There we go. Just a little bit more for you. Why don't you send some more lasers my way? Night, night, you old bitch. One more shot. There we go. Oh, and it dropped me an epic aether tool. Honestly, I'll take that. That's decent loot. But we should probably go try to do some of these events. What do you think, Mimic? There you go. We gotta be knocking on the door of Serpent tonight now. We gotta be like one or two elites away. Let's do our aether extractor. Let's go, bunny. Let's try not to get killed two seconds into this one. People have said that if you jump when you go to the rope, you completely skip the animation, so I shouldn't go down here. Perfect. There's a mangler that needs to die. Oh, he got deadwired. Honestly, I hate deadwire in this game. It, like, never spreads to any other zombies. And it just makes it so your kill takes so much longer to get. Oh, speaking of kill, I'm about to get it. And by that, I mean I'm about to get killed. But I think I'm chilling now. Let's uh, start this one up. Oh, and there's our server tonight. Let's go. We just have our tears to get. And we will be leaving this game with Bioluminescent, not Bioluminescent, Borealis. They both start with Bs. Oh, shit. No. Okay, good thing we brought in a lot of cashmeres in self revive. So let's take out the disciple before they even know I hit him. Oh, we got Prestige 4 Mastery. Let's go. We'll overload this last one. There we go. Mimic. Thank you. We got one more of these rockets to take out. Oh, and we brain rot a disciple. People have told me that you'll still get the kill for brain rot, but I don't know if it'll still count for the camo. Either way, cashmere. Let's start this bad boy up. And this contract is done. Oh, shit. I'm getting hounded before I can even look at what we got. Let me equip some more cashmeres. Throw one. What do we get out of this? Oh, pack two crystal and elder sigil. I forgot. 
until literally just in this moment, you guys have probably been screaming at me this whole time. You can only get el Elder Sigils from the Dark Aether. I might actually have dementia. All right, let's do the escort contract and hopefully not die while we're holding the bunny. Cool. We barely made it through. We got a Mangler waiting for us. Oh, he almost got crushed to death. And he got brain rotted. Whatever, dude. I didn't want that kill anyways. That'd be such a lame way to get Serpent tonight for this, honestly. On a brain rotted Mangler. Oh, Mimic. Nice of you to show up. See ya, bitch. Where are all the elites at? All I'm seeing is zombies. Oh, wait, here's a disciple. Sit down. Oh, and there's Borealis. Let's go. We got it in the dark aether and we got it while we were down. That's so sick, dude. We're finally done with the MW2 weapons. I might have taken my time with them a little bit, but the camo grind is the most fun part about any COD game for me. So I like to savor it. But we still have two other mastery camos to completely grind out. We need Bioluminescent, which is all the MW2 guns. And we need to go for Interstellar and Multiplayer. And I accidentally just teleported. I think our ACV is fucked, so I'm not going to lie. But yeah, there it goes. That's whatever, dude. We got Borealis. I don't give a fuck. We got one more contract to do here. Let's go knock it out. What's up, bunny? Let's do this last outlast. Let's activate it. Let's have a little fun with it. Can I call in uh, a jug right here? Let's see if it'll land. Let's throw a cashmere, though, so we don't go down before it gets here. Okay. Maybe a little down before it gets here. Won't hurt nobody besides me. It did get here, but can I get up to it? I might have to go around. I gotta do some of this. Hop up here. Oh, missed the jump. Missed it again because I was mid reload. One more time. There we go. Got it. Third time's the charm. And then we take the jug. Perfect. I mean, just lay into these zombies. And there it goes. That was fun while it lasted. And that should be the contract right there. Got any good items for this one? Oh, a legendary pack a punch crystal on top of another elder sigil. It's such good loot over here. Here's our portal. Let's get out. That's a pretty good haul right there. Tell you what. Come on. Don't skip my after action report. Let me see Borealis in here. Oh, beautiful. Let's go hop in game and see what it looks like. I can't wait. Holy shit. This camo is beautiful. I actually might put it up there with like my top three camos of all time with Damascus and Dark Aether. Honestly, might like this a little bit better than Dark Aether. It's just such a, a sweet idea for a camo on top of the colors just being amazing. Having like the northern lights as, as a camo, great idea and great execution too. And it looks even better on the tiers. Oh, what a sick camo, dude. I'm so glad we got it done. Now that we have Borealis, we can finally play the game. We still have a few other weapons I need to get Borealis on. Like uh, I completely skipped the battle rifles for the most part. And I still have like an LMG and maybe like a weapon here or there from some other classes that I haven't gotten done just because of all the new DLC weapons that came out. But we still have all of Bioluminescent to go for. We still have all of Interstellar to go for. There is a lot of camos to get in this game and we're just getting started. It might've taken us a little bit compared to some people, but honestly, getting it done in season one before season one reloaded that's not too bad the game's only been out for like a month or so like a month and a half at this point i think we paced ourselves quite nicely but that's all i got for you guys today thank you for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later